Back. Our team coverage continues now in Naugatuck, where officials want neighbors to report any damage. They hope that by reporting this, it'll qualify the town for disaster relief. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Olivia Schuler explains more about the push for some help. We're standing in front of Tom's Firearms. It's one of the many businesses impacted by substantial flooding here in Naugatuck. Take a look at what remains of this building. You can see that the siding of it has slid down to the river below. Police say this morning they're working with the owner to check inventory to see if any guns went into the water as well. Take a look at this video. It speaks to how powerful and destructive flooding can be. You can see some of Tom's Firearms on Arch Street slid into the river. The fire department says right now it's unclear if the building is salvageable. Businesses aren't alone in dealing with the aftermath of flooding. Some homes are beyond repair as well. Homes on Cherry Street are flooded. One receives so much structural damage, it'll have to be torn down. This is why officials are asking people to do two things. One, submit a flood claim, and two, submit a damage self-report to the state. That way, officials can gather data to submit to FEMA. Now, on our website, we do have a link so that you can fill out a damage report. However, this is not to receive any funding or relief. This is strictly so that the state can start collecting some data that they can then send to FEMA. But if you are looking for some helpful resources or have been impacted by this flooding, you can head to our website. We have that information posted for you as well. In Naugatuck, Olivia Schuler, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.